Hi, I'm your Debbie Kling. Thank you for taking a few minutes to listen to this video. As we enter into the holiday season, I wanted to take a few minutes to share some thoughts. First, Happy Thanksgiving. While this year may be a little different, let's find those things that we can be thankful for and pause from our work for a day to rest and be thankful. You know, I'm thankful I live in the state of Idaho and the wonderful community of Nampa and that we live in a state that protects our freedoms. With the past months that have been so challenging and divisive, I want to let you know that I've been listening to what our community is saying. Our nation and our community is very divided related to how we should deal with this pandemic. About half of our population thinks one way and the other half thinks another. Even families are divided on how we approach and deal with COVID. Please remember that it's challenging for leaders to represent people that are truly divided. One thing we can all agree on is that we don't all agree and that we're all tired of dealing with the coronavirus. There's a lot of information and misinformation online, and sometimes it's hard to know what to believe. We know this. COVID is a new novel virus and we're all learning more about it every day and we're learning it together. We, myself as mayor and the city council, have not mandated masks for Nampa. While I strongly encourage our community to wear masks, it's not a mandate. We want to keep our businesses open, people employed and our economy moving forward. And to do that, we need to slow the spread of COVID. Rather than focusing on the controversy of whether masks work or don't work, there are many other ways to help protect against the spread of COVID. We must all work together to help protect the vulnerable. And we don't always know who is vulnerable. We need to slow the spread to not overwhelm our hospitals and healthcare providers, and we need to get our kids back in school. This coming month, with kids again doing school from home, it's a time that we will spend more time together at home as families. And for most, that is wonderful. For some, it's the most difficult and stressful time. But rather than turning neighbors into not wearing masks or following certain rules, let's see how we can support each other during this difficult time. We could choose to believe the best and not the worst about someone. Choose to love and care for not just ourselves, and those that we agree with, but even those that could be considered our enemy. I do believe we have the responsibility to look out for the interest of others, our neighbors and our community. I believe that we can come together and move past this and that Napa can be a positive example because we're better together than divided. While in Napa, we have not issued mandates. Please join me in recommitting to slowing the spread sharing personal responsibility by each of us doing our part, and our part may be staying home even with the smallest symptom, or maintaining more than six feet of distance if you can't wear a mask. Not because someone is making you, but because someone's asking you. I'm asking you, on behalf of those who can't. On behalf of families who've lost a loved one due to this illness, on behalf of the vulnerable populations, on behalf of businesses who have closed their doors or lost their retirement because of the virus, on behalf of those waiting to see a doctor or those whose elective yet needed surgery has been postponed due, the due to the lack of capacity in our hospitals. Our hospital workers are tired and some are overwhelmed. As a community, we need to commit to slow the spread to help care for our sick. We're all tired of this, we want to move on, but it's difficult to move forward in different directions. With a vaccine on the horizon, we will get through this and we will be stronger and we'll have made positive changes because of this pandemic. So let's not allow our community to be divided, but rather let's lay down our disagreements, come together during this challenging time. Even though this year may be different, enjoy the holiday season and don't lose hope. And I would ask that God may bless you and that God would bless our entire community.